hunter is like you can't there's nothing to explain his imagination and if you were to ask him five years ago he would have been in pharmacy school wanting to go study in six different countries and open up pharmacies all around the world that was his view five years ago now this happened we were at market in dallas doing our spring shopping for the store and there was a banner above the booth that he was in that said properly tied which is the name of his product oxford mississippi and i thought what is that it started out in my bedroom at my parents' house, and then from that it went to, you know, our guest bedroom, and then it was in our garage basement. I mean, it was all over, and then uh, shortly after that it kept growing, and then I built a small warehouse right behind my parents' house. Um, they let me do that, which was pretty cool, and then from there that's whenever we just moved into this new space. So it's really allowed us to grow, and we're growing pretty fast, so it's, it's cool to watch it happen. Properly Tied was started in 2013, um, in between the summer of my junior and senior year. I was doing the club t-shirts for all the different clubs that I was in and even some of the ones that I wasn't. I was designing those. And then I came up with the logo and I decided that I'd try it out online and from there um, we stuck it online. We sold a few thousand t-shirts overnight of one print. So I went to our local printer, we were printing locally then, and um, I told them I needed a few thousand of the same thing printed and they were like, you know, they were kind of like you mean 200 or 2,000? I was like, no, I need 2,000. It's kind of crazy because you never think when you're starting something like this that it's actually going to work. You think it's going to be a hobby or like a side business, and then it turns into something that's full time. Um, so it's exciting because, like I said, every day is different. So you're always meeting new people, going to new places, seeing new things, learning stuff. So it's pretty exciting. He was still in high school, I believe. And um, so I just bought it on a whim, really just because he was a local kid. <laughs> So what started out is just something I was just doing to be nice and uh, civic-minded has turned out to be a really good thing for us business-wise. He has been in our top four vendors the last two years. He's become a major player in our business. I am a full-time student at Ole Miss, so I do that usually in the mornings. My classes start at 8 every day, so I go 8 to sometimes noon, sometimes it's not as late, sometimes it's 9. Um, and then I go to work the rest of the day and then sometimes into the night. It does get rough, but as long as you kind of separate the two and take time to do both, it usually works itself out. Since he's young, he's still getting the hang of it. Um, I think it's still so much to learn and being a boss is a hard thing. He is a very good boss and very good at what he does. Of course, he'll be a very successful businessman. I'm anxious to see what he brings to me. What, what's, what's the latest trend? What is he doing? What direction is he going? So. I'm uh, quite confident he'll be on the cusp of that movement, whatever it be.